up? Very, very welcome back to Maryland. My name is Mary. Today I'm reacting to Bill Burr's epidemic of gold digging whores. You guys have been asking me to react to Bill Burr for a long time. Um, I didn't know which one to react to. You guys sent me a few links. Um, drop some others below if this is not the one you wanted. However, I watch F is for Family. I have probably seen F is for Family, and I mean all three seasons on Netflix like four times over, and I think it's freaking hilarious. I really like his sense of humor. I know that he owns the show. So, you know, it's very Family Guy-esque, you know, all of that. So I'm always, I'm always about that kind of life. So let's see what he's talking about. The topic is very cliche, but let's hope that like with his dry comedy that we, you know, we get a little something, something, something else. All right, guys, if you're ready for this reaction, give me a thumbs up. Let's press play. I don't do well with stand up. I didn't, sorry, it wasn't loud enough. I have to bump it all the way up. I don't do well with stand up, though, so let's just hope this is funny. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would, why would, yes, what man wouldn't be afraid to get married? Oh, this is so creepy. It's like I'm watching F is for Family because I realize he's Frank's voice. Oh, my. Weird. Okay. Cool. Look at this shit. Guy's getting a divorce. His wife's gonna get 70 million bucks. Kobe's married though, still. But I guess that was 2013. Can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, 250 million dollars. She's a babysitter worth a quarter of a billion fucking dollars. I'm not even gonna say what I think because first of all, first of all, the next time you pop a baby out of your vagina after holding it for nine months, nine and a half, ten months, Bill Burr, you come and talk to us. Talk about she's a babysitter. Yeah, he wasn't saying that when she was popping the babies out. And I'm not saying that like being someone's wife makes you entitled to that money. I don't have that mentality at all. I've always said it. I don't really care for a rich husband. I want to be a rich wife. He can do whatever he wants. But my standards have a lot to do with what I'm willing to work for. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like, if the husband's not pissed, what are you so upset about? Justify it. Justify it. What? What? He cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. He cheated on her. Great. The relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension? Right? Get that ten years in? <laughs> I don't care. That's too harsh. I mean, that's how you feel. I disagree. Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. And every night I put on the news and I'm waiting for someone to address it. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot, right? Like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. Talking about whores, people! They're everywhere. Yeah, the ones that are getting like th that do that for a living. I thought that's what a definition of a whore was. Not a woman who marries a rich guy and happens to get to take half. I don't know. I don't like the way he's loosely throwing that word around, but I like his comedy, like I said, from his the cartoon, but I'm not feeling this right now. I'm just gonna be honest. And I already I kind of saw it coming just because it was titled that way. And I'm not usually like a very sensitive person, but like for him to say he's afraid to get married, yeah, you fucking should be. Like, any woman should be afraid to get married to you, like, if this is how you, like, regard women anyway. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know. Maybe he has mommy issues. I don't know. How many more great men are going to get chopped in half? Yeah, I'm sure they're very great. Great men, they are, because they play basketball, because they play sports. So don't pull back. Mm -hmm. You're like, a little late now. Wife beaters, I would, I would like pull back. I get it. This guy's hitting women that need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. He said, yeah. guys hitting women needs to be stopped and go. How could you even possibly relate that? I can't, Bilber. I'm sorry. Yeah. I we can't. don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the end. So it's not obvious. It's in the eyes. Too far, dude. Too far. It's Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets, right? That is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. 
I gotta tell you this, I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. You know? People you got 1 800 numbers, you get you have, you have ribbons, there's groups. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. Something tells me he's, the, he's like. His grandfather started MGTOW. This People one. thought it was hilarious. They were like, hey, hey, Stumpy. Nobody cares. If you think of a guy who removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? The entire country would cry to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. I don't know about all that. Some special colored headband everybody had to wear. Oh, shut up. This is comedy. Okay, maybe I should put it out there for you guys. I think I said that to you before. I don't do well with stand-up, and, and stand-up usually doesn't like make me laugh. So maybe that's why I'm struggling right now. Forgive me. Feminine color they could possibly come up with? All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. Another great man. Taken down by that gold-digging whore of a man he's got. And I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid? The, the entire story. She was never called a whore. Ever. Is he really so, talking about double standards? Was my first my was camera first is dying. So if it dies, sorry. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore. Right there. <laughs> never. Why do you think she hooked up with him? Wow. Is that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? <laughs> Giant space between his teeth that could put this mic cord through? Mm -mm. I think maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom. No, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy. Watching guys go through that shit, you know? And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Ah, hey, he's stupid. That guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I, right? Does it even make sense? Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up? Hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life. That's the real conversation that should be happening. But you don't have to call her ugly still. <laughs> something beyond that, right? Poor lady. You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks. You know? Yes. <laughs> Uh, that dude should be <laughs> unloading trucks in Transylvania. That should be. That should have been the height of his success. I'm weak. But because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah. <laughs> he lifts weights. Ah, 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 becomes super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No. Next challenge. I'm going to become an actor, despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. Against all odds, he starts making movies. Get down. There's a bomb. Get out of there. My camera is dying, guys. So I'm trying. And he's already not funny. So I got, if, if my camera fully dies, I'm going to let you guys know. I may or may not make a part two because I'm not laughing. I'm not even offended anymore. I'm just not laughing. I think I'm mad at Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. Cherry on top. I'm running for governor of a state. I can't even pronounce and he wins the election. Yeah, he has done some pretty amazing things. Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and well, get away with it? Yeah. This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. Mm. That's what always happens to these men. They get, they get a little too excited. Bang a maid in my own bed? Dude, that's a layup. Are you serious? I had a hit movie with a midget. I don't even need a condom. Right? Wow. And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls <coughs> coming on TV. <gasps> absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> now that's funny. I caught. <laughs> You know what's funny though? I think I'm just gonna say this because if the camera dies, I'm gonna do part two, okay? 
But I think a, a lot of men that are upset about women getting half don't understand that if more women were making that much money and getting the, and cheating on their husbands and getting divorces, the man would be getting spousal support as well. This is not some type of made up thing that's just like set up to attack men by no means. That's not the case. It just so happens that women benefit because I guess in, in these cases, the men's but making more. Any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer parked on the other side of a dumpster. Really? You're beating them off? This guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice? Really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's the whole thing's over? Nah, I, yeah, I mean, I do, though. I don't like the way the media does that either. Famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office. How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. Yeah. I, I can't. Rosetta's supposed to be easy, judge though. These guys. I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm going to judge Tiger Woods. I golf. I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry, ladies. Gotta go home to the wife. Right? Well, is that so hard? Don't judge me. Is it? And there's no help out there for guys. But what about women? Like, he acts like we're not sitting around here walking around with temptation because I hate to say it, but you men are attractive, but y'all are not. Like, a lot of those girls are just after the money, okay? It's not because y'all look that damn good, but we be looking good. Okay, like we have, we look so good, and so you can imagine how many men are drooling all over us. So if we're expecting it to be faithful, why can't y'all do the same thing? Because you know? rich and famous, there's nothing to prepare you for that for that platoon of whores that's gonna form on the horizon, right? Like Braveheart, faces painted, skirts on, run down the hill, they jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. He said faces painted. There's not even a handbook out there. I saw one article written about it on time, the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs, right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. <laughs> Fuck off. Pressure. I don't know what I know. How would you know? Right? Okay. And why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? Makes no sense. Well, that's like these freaking dating coaches lately. It's mainly males that are telling women how to be women. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to say. Bill Burr, like, I have so many, um, I'm not going to say counter points because, I mean, he's making points, but I also, with for everything he's saying, like, there's a male version of it. It's like that a dick. 24-7. Do it, do it. Fuck it, do it. That's the same. <laughs> We do know doing ovulation, it'd be real for women too. It does. Yeah, do it. I can't. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Right? And then the men are clapping now. They're like, yeah. Ew. It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't. You know? That's not you keeping your dick in check. You know? Some guy at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity. Who's going to marry Bill Burr? Because whores don't care Is he them. married now by this point? I hope not. <laughs> Battery died.